November 3rd. 361. Constantius, the last of the sons of Constantine the Great, died, after a reign of 23 years, and was succeeded by Julian. 461. Leo I the Great Pope, died. Rome was pillaged 14 days by Genseric during his reign. 1327. James II the Just, King of Aragon, died, aged 65. Deservedly regretted for his moderation, courage, benevolence and magnanimity. He conquered Sicily. And waged a long war against the Moors and the people of Navarre. He had the good fortune to unite Valencia and Catalonia to his crown. 1369. That famous code of Godfrey, called the Assize of Jerusalem, restored by John D.I. Bailin, Count of Jaffa, was finished under the revision of sixteen native commissioners for the use of the Latin Kingdom of Cyprus. 1493. Columbus, on his second voyage to the New World, described land, which in honor of the day he called Dominica. 1580. Sir Francis Drake returned from his voyage round the world. 1603. Henry IV of France granted to Pierre du Gast, Sieur de Mounts, a patent of the American territory, from the 40th to the 46th degree of north latitude, with power to colonize and rule it, and to subdue and Christianize its native inhabitants, and the exclusive right to the commerce of Peltry and Acadie and the Gulf of St. Lawrence. 1611. Antonio Perez, a distinguished Spanish statesman and author, died at Paris, where he retired when disgraced at the court of Spain, and even eluded the emissaries sent to murder him, but although highly esteemed by the learned men of France and England, he died miserably poor. 1640. The Long Parliament of England began. W.M. Lantel was chosen speaker. 1643. John Bainbridge died at Oxford. A physician and astronomer of high reputation. 1669. Charles Drelincourt, a French Calvinistic divine, died. His consolations against the fear of death have passed through numerous editions, and been translated into several languages. 1680. The great comet of this year approached so near the earth as in many places to occasion no small alarm. 1710. Luke Rotkins, a Dutch poet, died. After being engaged two years in the wars of Holland he retired to his country seat to devote himself to poetry. 1739. Charles Jervas, an English painter, died. He is immortalized more by Pope's panegyric than by his own pictures. 1741. Bearing wrecked on the island which bears his name. 1760. Battle of Torgau. The Austrians under Don defeated by Frederick II of Prussia, with the loss of 20,000 men, 8,000 of whom were taken, 13,000. 1762. The remarkable peace between England and France was signed at Fontainebleau. 1771. First newspaper printed in Albany, New York. 1771. An attempt was made by Count Pierlaski and some other Polish noblemen to carry off Stanislaus Augustus, the king. They took him prisoner, but after wandering about all night, in the morning they found themselves near where they set out, and were obliged to liberate their captive. 1774. Gloucester Ridley, an eminent English divine, died. He commenced life as an actor. 1775. St. John surrendered to the Americans. General Carleton in attempting to cross the St. Lawrence with 800 men, was attacked by 300 Green Mountain Boys. Under Colonel Warren and compelled to retire. 
which induced the garrison to capitulate. They found 17 brass and 22 iron cannons, 2 howitzers, 7 mortars, 800 stand of arms, etc. 1775. Valentine Jamie Rye Duval, an extraordinary French character, died. He at first gained his subsistence by watching poultry and sheep. But by perseverance and labor he obtained books and maps, became one of the most learned men of his time, and enjoyed the patronage of princes and the notice of the learned. 1787. Robert Loth, an eminent English bishop, died. Known by his translation of Isaiah, the sublimest poetry in the world. 1793. Mary Olympi de Gaudas, a French authoress, guillotined. Becoming disgusted with the brutalities of the revolutionists, she turned her pen against them, and fell a victim to their vengeance. 1797. William Menfield, an eminent English dissenting minister died. Known by many ingenious and useful publications. 1812. Battle near Wyasma. The French under Ney, Davost, and Beauharnoy defeated by the Russians with the loss of 6,000 killed, and 3,500 taken prisoners, and 28 cannon of the wounded French. All who fell must have unquestionably perished, as in the night the Russian winter set in, with a degree of iron severity almost unknown to the oldest inhabitants. On the following morning all was buried under a deep, wide waste of snow. 1832. John Leslie died. An eminent Scottish chemist, mathematician, and natural philosopher, inventor of the differential thermometer, and author of various scientific works. He rose from humble life, and received the honor of knighthood for his acquirements. 1834. Drive Horner, died at Zurich, Switzerland. He accompanied Kruusenstern in his first Russian voyage round the world, and wrote the natural history of Russia. 1839. Carter Berkeley, an eminent Virginia physician, aged 72, died while feeling the pulse of a dying patient. He was a lineal descendant of Sir William Berkeley, and an excellent character. 1840. St. Jean Acre bombarded by the Allied British and Turkish fleets. The firing commenced at half past 2 p.m. and ceased at 6. The magazine, containing 500 barrels of powder, was blown up, over which about 2,000 soldiers were stationed, who were nearly all buried in the ruins. Unknown. Loss of the British and Allies 18 killed and 42 wounded. The Egyptians evacuated the place on the following morning, and it was possessed by the conquerors, who found 121 mounted guns and 20 mortars on the walls and 97 brass field pieces and 97 mortars in store, besides stores of all kinds and the military chest, valued altogether at about one million pounds.